greeting, Professor Cook. This is for you. Um, uh, this is a follow, more of a follow-up question to your answer to my colleague's yeah. uh, question. Uh, sir, in regards to how we are suggesting that uh, there could be something lost in translation, yeah. what about the fact that when we are uh, choosing these centers and these margins and trying to um, uh, distinguish between the two, uh, how is there also an, uh, is there also a lurking danger? Uh, this phrase also came up. This lurking danger of appropriation. How do we know that we are not appropriating particular cultures and experiences? <laughs> Uh, well, again, it's a, it's a very um, important question, and I hope I'm not going to answer it evasively. Um, the, um, I think there's a very interesting question here about property, okay? And I think there's a very interesting question about whether we think of um, cultural artifacts as forms of property. And then whether in looking at history, we of course see the dark shadow of colonialism. And one of the things that we know about colonialism, and or one of the things that we know about the conqueror, is that the conqueror will seize the cultural assets, if you think of that in property terms, of the vanquished. <clears throat> if you ever go to Paris and go to the Louvre, um, what you see is being significantly created by Napoleon's victories um, in Europe. I mean, he, that was part of the loot. You know, it was commonly accepted that if you defeated your enemy, you then looted the, uh, the resources of the enemy. That seems to me to be a terribly warlike and unpeaceful way of thinking about these questions um, and I am inclined to think that what happens if we rather thought about the idea that cultural texts are a creative commons that's to say they're not subject to property um, identifications but that nonetheless that does not mean that we cease to respect the, um, the culture which is the culture of origin of this text. So my answer to your question then would be what we need to do is to treat texts respectfully. Um, and it seems to me that if we do that, then we will not be if in the bad sense appropriating them. But now, what it means to treat texts respectfully is a is a very perplexed question for me, um, because some of the you know some of the writers that I've worked on uh, plunder uh, through quotation plunder a whole range of texts, which they then recast into their own um, own forms, and and of course a lot of literature is 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 depends on quotation, uh, both acknowledged and unacknowledged unconscious and conscious. It's, it's a quotational art. Um, so um, that's at least a half answer to your question, but not a, not a very good one. 